Good morning, good morning. This is our first installment of Hill to Hill Talk. These videos are designed to be your station for motivation, inspiration, and restoration. Because life sometimes can get tough. Today, I just want to remind you that you have been chosen by God. You, insert your name, have been chosen by God. As a matter of fact, God prefers you. Now, the shouting point for me comes when I understand who I am in the spectrum of who God is. God is a great God. He's a big God. And he doesn't have characteristics. He has attributes. Attributes are those things that don't change regardless of the season or the situation. A.W. Tozer has a wonderful book. It's called The Knowledge of the Holy and describes several attributes of God. One of those attributes is the fact that he is self-sufficient. The God we serve is self-sufficient. That means he needs nothing outside of himself to be God. Our God is self-sufficient. He is the creator who was not created. He is the originator without an origin. He is the architect that's never drafted a blueprint. He is the great physician that's never even needed a day of medical school. He is a self-sufficient God who needs nothing outside of himself. That very fact means that God doesn't need us, but he chooses us and he prefers us on purpose. John 15 and 16 says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and it appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit that will last and whatever you ask in my name, the father will give you. If that's not convincing enough, Ephesians 1 and 4 says, For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight in love. So the question is not if you are chosen, because you were definitely chosen. The question for all of us is what were we chosen for? For. You have a gift, you have a purpose that is divinely unique in the world. God made you so well that you don't have a duplicate. Even if you're a twin or a triplet, God made you on purpose and he has a very distinctive plan for your life. It's our life's goal to find that thing. If you have breath in your body today, you are still in pursuit of that thing. So let me encourage you, God has chosen you. And every day we rise up in the morning, we make choices of whether or not we will choose him back. I hope you have a great day. Keep on running, keep on walking, keep on believing. This is your time. Be blessed. Bye.